So let's solve this problem. So given the probability distribution, then to find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. So to solve for this problem in a table form, so we have x and the probability for every values for x. Then for this column, so we have x times the p of x. So just multiply these two columns. Since we have this whole number and a fraction, so to multiply, just multiply this number to the numerator. So the first row, that's 1 over 10. Then this 3 times 3, that's 9 over 10. 5 times 3, that's 15 over 10. 7 times 3, that's 7 over 10. And 9 times 2, that's 18 over 10. So these are the values for this column. Then for the next column, so we have the square of x. So we just need to take the square for this column. So the square of 1, that's 1 times 1, that's equal to 1. And the square of 3, that's 3 times 3, this is 9. The square of 5, that's 5 times 5, that's 25. The square of 7, that's 7 times 7, that's 49. And the square of 9, that's 9 times 9, this is 81. So these are the values for this column. Then for this column, so we have x squared times the p of x. So just multiply these two columns, the x squared and the p of x. So again, we have this whole number and a fraction. So just multiply this whole number to the numerator of this fraction. So this is 1 times 1. That's 1 over 10. 3 times 9, that's 27 over 10. 3 times 25, that's 75 over 10. 1 times 49, that's 49 over 10. And 2 times 81, that's 162 over 10. So these are the values for this column. Then this time, since we're done with this table, so we can find now the sum for this column. So the sum of x times the p of x. So since we have the same denominators, so just add the numerator. So this is 1 plus 9, that's 10, plus 15, that's 25. And 25 plus 7, that's 32. 32 plus 18, that's 50. So this is equal to 50 over 10. Then also we need to find the sum for this column. So again, since the same denominators, so we just need to add these numerators. So we have 1 plus 27 then plus 75 plus 49 plus 162 equals so we have 314 over 10 then using now this table to solve for the mean since the mean the formula so that's the summation of x times the p of x. And this is the summation of x times the p of x. So therefore, the mean is equal to 50 over 10. Then to reduce, so we have 50 divided by 10. That's equal to 5. So the mean is equal to 5. Then to find the variance using this formula, 
So we have the summation of x squared times the p of x. And this is the summation of x squared times the p of x. And that is equal to 314 over 10. Then minus the summation of x times the p of x. So this is the summation of x times the p of x. Then to the power 2. So minus 50 over 10 to the power 2. Then to simplify. So convert this one to decimal or simplify. So this 314 divided by 10. This is 31.4 then minus. This 50 divided by 10 that's 5. And 5 to the power 2 that's 25. Then to solve now for the variance, so this is 31.4 minus 25, so the variance is equal to 6.4. Then since we have now the variance, so we can find now the standard deviation because the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So since the variance is 6.4, so this is the square root of 6.4. So therefore, the standard deviation is equal to 2.53. So this is how to find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation for the discrete probability distribution.